Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mode. Today we have an interesting algebra problem. We need to raise 3 fourths to the power 3 fourths, of course, without calculator, and we solve it step by step, and I want to show you how we can how we can do this. Take a look. First of all, I want to write a rule. If we have for example for example cubes root of a square. So we can rewrite this this a square raised to the cube's root, we can rewrite it as a to the power two to two third. So we can write this way, in this way. This is the same, but this is in another way we write. So what we're going to do next? Let's rewrite this element using this logic. So take a look. These three show us the power of a root. So these three show us the power of a root, and these two is the power of this of this a. A in our case is three fourths. So we will have three three fourths. So in our denominator show us a power of a root. In our denominator we have four, so we will have fourth root. And we have three in our denominator, three and two from here show us the power of this a. So as a result we will have three fourths to the power three in our case. So let's simplify this. This is the same as right here, so we just use this, this rule to express this way in this way. What are we going to do next? Take a look. We will have fourth root. We need to know if we have a fraction raised to the third power. We can write it as 3 cube divided by 4 cubes. We can rewrite this in, in that way. Because if we raise nominator and denominator to this third power. What are we going to do next? Take a look. Let's, let's simplify this. We will have fourth root. We will have in our denominator, we will have 3 times 3 times 3, we will have 3 cubes, so 3 times 3 times 3, and in our denominator we will have 4 times 4 and times 4. So what are we going to do next? We can easily multiply this, as a result we will have 4th root, we will have 3 cubed 27, and 4 to the third power we will have 64. So this is 4th fourth, fourth root of 27 over 64. How can you simplify this? Take a look. We need to know the rule. If we have a over b to the power x, we can write it as a to the power x divided by b to the power x. In our case, we can find fourth root of fourth root of 27 divided by fourth root of 64. In our case, we can find fourth root from our denominator and from our denominator. So, what we're going to do next? Take a look. Fourth root of 27 is not a good number because we cannot find this fourth root easily on the paper, so we can write it right here. But fourth root of 64, we all know that fourth root of 16 is equal to 2. And we can express this 64 as 16 times 4. So as a result, take a look what we will have. We will have fourth root of 27, and we can separate it within, within the rule. We can write our denominator as fourth root of 16 times fourth root of 4. And take a look. We just separate this. We need to know the rule. We just separate this. And we know that fourth root of 16 equal to 2. So what we will have? I write it right here, what we will have, fourth root of 27 divided by, right here we will have 2, fourth root of 16 equal to 2, so 2, and let's write 4 as 2 square. So we can write this 4 as 2 square, and we raise this to the power 1 fourth, using this logic. Because we have fourth root, we raise this to the power 1 fourth. If we raise this, we need to multiply. We will have 2 times 1, 4, we will have, our answer will be 4th root of 27 in our denominator, and denominator, what we will have? These two, multiplying by 2 to the, to the power square raised to the power 1, 4, we need to multiply 2 times 1, 4, we will have 1 second, and it will be our square root sign, just square root sign. So we will have situation like that. And the last step, let's simplify our denominator. We will have 3 to the power 3 fourths. If you use this logic, dividing by 2 square root of 2. And this will be our answer. Because right here we can write this 27 as 3 cube. And this is our case. This is our logic as right here. So 3 cube 
fourth root power, we can write it as 3 to the power 3 fourths. So this is, this is our answer. If you still have any question, write a question in the comment, write a suggestion in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.